Oh dear. <laughs> Pavel is returned. Astronomers fear you. <laughs> is she... Women worship you. We have uh, we had Courtney, but she disappeared. We have Richard Drum, and we have Michael Forster. So we were. Courtney's running off to find it. Pamela, hill. good morning. Yes. <laughs> Courtney, Courtney's trying to find good a hill morning. on which to watch the sunrise. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we awesome. probably won't see the sun. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> we have a hi and thanks from Australia. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, and people all over the world. It's 11 a.m. in the UK. Sun rose a couple of hours ago in Brazil. Uh, so all our international listeners are, are chiming in and saying hello. What time is it in Australia? Nicole, do we have a list of the people who have donated yet? Is that something that you have available? I think it would be nice we to think. We have that later. We don't have it live right now. Um, ah. but I think uh, that's Scott Sigler? Yeah, we know, we know Sigler donated. <laughs> yeah, As, uh, buy his so. books, please. Dark Overlord Media uh, matched donations during their segment up to uh, $1,000. And so we beat that, and they did that. So we will be getting that from Dark Overlord Media. And, yeah, definitely uh, check out his books. I mean, unless you ever want to sleep again. Because <laughs> the horror stories can be a little bit terrifying. But I don't I'm know entertained. How to read. He We're does little... audio books. Oh, he reads okay, awesome. The, they're all free audio books. So, yeah, that's the only reason I got Tim to... <laughs> Read them all. Oh, there's one. There's Infected. Uh, that that's uh, Richard showing. Um, that is the first book in my favorite trilogy. I gotta move. Oi. <laughs> Put your left foot yeah, in. Go back there. You're separating Bye. me. From I mean, all here. your stuff's over here. Okay. Take your iMac out. Separating me from my computer. Pamela's coming in and messing up our system. That so sounds painful. How, how did the nap go? Computerectomy. Well, it was needed. Feeling better. That's CSS done? No. <laughs> so we have... Actually, CSS uh, it was database issues. No, that was a different thing. There's some CSS, like, in the wiki, I think. No, that mm. was all... They're going to figure out all the website bugs right here. That was yeah. all... Fun, fun with the cascading here. style sheets. Mm. No, no, see, Pamela, you've gone for a wardrobe change. you gone for a wardrobe change? Yes, I did. I decided I wanted to match Joe here. Oh, hold on then. <laughs> okay. You get a women shirt. <laughs> Between you and Richard, I'm scared. Richard is scared. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and we broke Richard. <laughs> oh, you broke him earlier. It's fine. <laughs> it's all deserved. It's all well deserved. Um, so I think I'm going to take off and change because I feel okay. this as well. So. Yes, that's, that's completely <laughs> All right. legit. So you guys can drive, can drive this, this thing while I'm gone. Yes. I'll be back. <laughs> Rhetoric, yeah. We're so, just sort of chatting, Pamela, uh, since it's uh, hard to do sunrise when it's cloudy. And so uh, we're not only is it kind cloudy, of winging it. But it's raining actively out there is right it? now. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, we, we live on Waterworld. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. But uh, such is life. This is the, the way things roll. <laughs> wow. So, so tell me, what did I miss? There's an empty wall that we're looking at. Well, I was just bragging about the fun, fun things we could find at uh, astrogear.org. And since you're modeling for us now, <laughs> uh, I didn't talk yeah. about the I Am CosmoQuest shirt yet, so... So, so our goal is each of us together, our CosmoQuest. So I am, Joe is, we are, we are all CosmoQuest. Um, you have your own mic now. <laughs> no mic. I like the universe is trying to kill your shirt personally, but it needs, yes. to, be, it needs to be in hot pink. <laughs> we're actually going to reorder that one, and I'm thinking okay. we're probably going to do it in uh, CosmoQuest maroon next. Oh, okay, that would work too. But I was thinking the same level of fuchsia that uh, uh, Nicole has in her hair, but with white lettering. That would be actually yeah. kind of awesome. I just yeah, yeah. white knock white knockout a, for the letters. Yeah, you have to be a special person in order to get away with wearing that. Oh, well, we're all special. <laughs> Touched. 
<laughs> um, we also have Surly Amy's. I'm sporting one of them here for Astronomy Cast. We have Astronomy Cast and 365 Days of Astronomy Surly Amy's. Or Surly Ramex, rather. We're not selling Amy. Um, although she did say earlier she would go to a good home at the right price. <laughs> Yeah. Um, the, we have posters, we have two different bumper stickers that were actually designed by, by Richard here. Um, Rich Drum, Richard Drum, the astronomy bum, who actually goes by Rich, but because his Twitter <laughs> handle says Richard, he is forever in my brain as Richard. Um, so uh, what else do we have on there? Yeah, go to astrogear.org. We have a lot of different stuff. There's the bumper sticker. That doesn't work. That's the broken... Okay, you can show it again, Richard. We just embiggened you. So we have uh, two different bumper stickers. A Firefly stickers. reference there. Yes. You, you Firefly fans will get it. I am a brown coat. Don't look at me like that. We've been trying to get Joe to watch Firefly for a while. We've been failing. Oh. You've got to do it, Joe. It's it's it is on IMDb. It scores like nine point six out of ten. The, the rule is, I watch Firefly three months after people stop telling me to watch Firefly. Uh, <laughs> you'll probably never watch it then. Yeah, huh? pretty close to never. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Your loss. I actually fell asleep for the first episode. Oh man. Uh, so so you need to watch the saffron episode. Yeah. Well, watch the TV show first and the movie second. Yes. Well, the movie doesn't make sense unless you watch the TV show. Yeah. Um, and the ending of the movie is, well, yeah, you got to watch the show first, TV first. <laughs> oh, no, so, no, so. No spoilers for me. No. <laughs> So I don't know why Wesley was tweeting uh, seven minutes ago. We, me, 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 me. Um, I'm amused though. Tell you what, Pamela, how much are we raised right now? Me, 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 me. Let, let me look. Ah. Too many different electronics, none of which I are instantly showing donations. Dark uh, chocolate espresso beans. So much envy. We are at $11,535. This means we are $3,500 away from having achieved the Feed Joe goal. If that goal is achieved in the next, call it two hours, I'll watch Firefly at some point during the next like two weeks maybe. <laughs> how how <laughs> much do you maybe? Time, I'll actually watch it. Joe, I'd like to know right. how much we need to pledge to actually put you next to the microphone instead of yelling at it from across the room. <laughs> it's right here. Yeah. You're only about two feet shy of, of being audible. Really? Yes. Yeah. This? I'm supposed to eat it. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Just admire it. Yeah. But look out for pee pops, though. Yeah, here's a little uh, uh, tip for you podcasters and non-radio people. Hold your hand up in front of your face and talk and say, Piss Lana's pussy footers, and you'll actually feel your breath hitting your palm. Then, if you say something starting with the letter T, you'll feel the your breath hitting the, the the bottom part of your hand. So you don't want to put your microphone either straight in front or down below. So that you want to put it on the side so that your breath passes past the mic and doesn't go into it. Another tip. tip. Another tip is you don't want to pretend that your hand is a microphone. Well, yeah. No. yeah. There's that. Oh yeah. <laughs> So we have Courtney back. Hey, so I went and researched the highest location, highest elevation locations I could find in, ah. in the Houston area. Can and you guess be louder? What it was. Can I? Hello. Can Much you better. Me? Okay. It is better. So you want to guess what the highest location spot in Houston is that I could find? I'll give uh, you three guesses. You're in Houston. It's the Kima Bridge. Uh, the Enron Building. Okay, the highest <laughs> elevation spot is somewhat near to me. It's a landfill. Uh. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. You're over in Katy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. It sucks. And the, the top of the landfill is uh, 12 meters above sea level? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not much higher. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, so so this is the reality of astronomy. We are entering the 515 slot that was carefully set aside to teach people how to capture beautiful imagery of the rising sun. And it's raining. St. Louis, it's awesome over here. No, it's not. <laughs> it, it's better when it comes to rain than like Vancouver where Fraser is. Be right um, back. But uh, we, we did run into technical difficulties, if we can call the weather a technical difficulty. And this is a common problem with us optical astronomers. It's part of what drove me into doing citizen science and survey-based research. Uh, during my dissertation, I suffered over 80 nights of varying levels of cloud, dust, humidity, forest fire, lightning strike. Um, yeah. Plague, locusts. <laughs> we did. I did have a frog come crawling out of my exobite drive one night, and suddenly it made sense why so many of my exobite tapes didn't work. <laughs> um, I got a frog in my throat. Well, close. Yeah, I, I'll take the throat over the exobite drive. <laughs> yeah. Well, so Pamela, I can go try and capture the sunset for you, but or sunrise for you. I mean, but mine's not so thick. 22 a.m. Um, it, it, it's okay. I, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll survive. Um, so I, I will do a video after the fact using my Google Glass to um, record what it takes. And, and Richard has a Coronado telescope there which can be used to observe the yep. sun safely. Um, doesn't make quite as dramatic a sunrise set of photos in the morning. No. Um, but the Coronado is an H-alpha telescope. This means that it filters out all of the light except for the light from one very narrow um, spectral set of wavelengths that are the wavelengths that correspond to hydrogen giving off red light um, in the two to three tri or three to two as it may be transition in a hydrogen atom. So this means you have your nuclei of the atom that has a happy little proton in it. You have the electron going around. It gets a little bit excited, goes to the second energy level, gets more excited, goes up to the third energy level, gets tired of being in the third energy level, drops down to the second, right. hits a photon in the process. That photon is the shade of red this telescope is able to see. It's also the shade of red in like open signs at, at the cafe where you get your sandwich in the afternoon. Yep, quantum and, mechanics uh, at work. And what's kind of awesome is by looking at just that one color of light, because the sun is primarily made of hydrogen, we can see awesome things like convective cells in the sun, the same sort of uh, circulating motion that you see in a pan of hot oil. We can observe that exact same type of motion on the surface of the sun. Um, you can also see fountains of plasma coming off the edge of the sun. Um, it's kind of awesome. So what sorts of things have you done with this one, Richard? Uh, I use it for uh, outreach a good bit um, at, at schools mostly because schools are open in the daytime uh, and it's, it's kind of hard sometimes to get school kids to be free at night because the parents want to put them in the bathtub and put them to bed. Um, and when they do come out, like with DSBK, our, our former uh, guest, uh, they, they come to the school and the school has the dreaded wall pack of 5,000 watt lights flooding the area with more light than they have even in daytime. Uh, but at any rate, uh, so, but in the daytime you can look at the sun with this and, and I have had, uh, uh, when I'm doing them so like sidewalk astronomy on the downtown mall in Charlottesville, um, I've actually had a, a women come by and go, oh no, you can't look at the sun, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. And I have to agree, to, no, if the, all the, uh, the, the infrared and the ultraviolet is all peeled away, only this one little color of red comes through and it's only that little bit of energy. Uh, and you can actually tune it by turning this little knob here, it's called an etalon in there and you can tune the uh, actual bandpass filter to, to heighten the, uh, uh, the, the, the contrast of the areas you're interested in. The cool thing is you can see the flames on the edge of the sun, the prominences so-called because they... Plasma. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I call them flame. But it makes sense to people when I call them flame, but uh, yeah, I can tell them they're standing prominently uh, on the edge uh, of the sun. 
but uh, they, they do enjoy the, the, the look through here, and, and sunspots do stand out nicely. Another cool use for the PST is that it uh, makes for a good club if you're attacked by a pack of wild dogs, too. You know, it's... <laughs> So, so I have to share uh, what Steve DeGroff has said over on the YouTube comments. He ah. wrote to uh, Joe here, who has said that if in the next two hours we cross the 15,000 mark, he will watch Firefly in the next two weeks, and I will make sure his schedule allows it. Um, and Steve wrote, you need to watch Firefly for the first time alone, without a Firefly fan there watching your reaction. Ah. This is how I get time off. <laughs> I have not seen Firefly either. Thank should you. I be, should I be watching? Okay. Yeah, you also Dickens? haven't seen Doctor Who. I watched the first season of Doctor she Who. She outed me. I didn't like David Tennant. <laughs> she yeah. outed David Tennant me. was the best Doctor. Unpopular opinions. <laughs> mm. You might want to watch Blink first, and, and, and if that doesn't scare awesome. you off, then you're hooked. <laughs> Sorry, Courtney. <laughs> so, okay, here's the question I have to that comment. If I does it count if I watch it with him since I'm not a Firefly fan? We're both newbies. Can we watch it together? Or does he have to watch it by himself? I, I and think. And why I, does he have to watch it? By I would imagine that would be. That acceptable. sounds wrong. It's it's totally acceptable. The problem is if there's a Firefly fan in the room, they'll be doing the, I'm going to watch and see how you react to the scene because I know what's going to happen next. That's happened to me. That's why I went to sleep. <laughs> Sleeper. Is, yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> so I, I have the DVDs or I have the Hulu Pro account. I have Netflix. Yeah, that works yep. too. Um, or Hulu Plus, not Hulu Pl Pro. Hulu Plus account, so uh, yeah, we can get you your access to Firefly, and I can conveniently leave the room should you need to use my login, or you have Netflix. <laughs> okay, Joe. So what we have to watch Firefly if we get to a certain mark? Our if we hit fifteen thousand dollars in the next two hours, Joe will sacrifice himself to watch Firefly. How wow. long? Ago? Less than thirteen hours. So how much do we have to make it for us to watch it together? Because right now it's only Joe. <laughs> and I'm willing to watch it as well if we'll do more. <laughs> <laughs> What's the limit there? How about aim for 16000 Yeah, 1000 bucks. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, In two or three fair. hours, though. In two hours. Yeah. Well, no, two hours. three hours. It's hard. Yep. Okay, three hours, $16,000. <laughs> means both of us have to do it. But yep. if only 15000 in two hours, then only Joe has to do it. I'm okay with yeah, that proposition. You're still yep. going to get subjected to it at some point, Courtney. It's only a matter of time. I don't it's 522 we'll now. I guess we'll start that timer now. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of outreach, well, I've got one of my uh, favorite outreach tools here in a little uh, camera bag. I reach in and pull out a meteorite. This oh. is this was uh, oh That's about big one, four hundred and thirty dollars something like that. Not ridiculous. It's not like thousands of bucks. Uh, it's a uh, Campo del Cielo from South America, and uh, this is about three point two kilos something like that. It's a nickel iron meteorite, which are my favorite kind, uh, and it's great fun to take this and put it in the hands of a kid who's not expecting it to be this heavy, you know, expecting it to be just a rock. Uh, and they go, oh, and then so then you can immediately start talking about how this has been circulating back and forth all through the era of the dinosaurs and finally fell to earth while the pharaohs were mucking around in Egypt. It fell in South America, blah, blah, blah. And, and then if you happen to have one, you can talk about Chelyabinsk in Russia just this February and how... And, uh, and thanks to you, I have a very small fragment of that that's up on the wall in my office now. Ah, bigger one coming. Every time I see a meteorite, I think of Joe Dirt. <laughs> and and I have my own. This is a fill plate meteorite is how many of us have come to call them. <laughs> um, fill plate has this really neat calling card where when he meets someone that he realizes he wants to stay in contact with, he gives them a meteorite. This thing's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there must be a, an iron. Joe is just a little kid that, that does that. 
Uh, you, and, you and Nicole and Fraser have larger ones coming. They're right here. Oh, wow. What are those? Chelya Bent's meteorites uh, uh, from It's the uh, one that almost Russia. hit Russia. Oh, did hit Russia. Oh, yeah. Russia. Uh, didn't it hit Russia? Well, it, it, did, it kinda, hit yeah. a lake. Yeah. It's in Russia. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> that was a weird fun day. Yeah. Was. That was a good one. Wasn't it? <laughs> and, and I had outreach that, that night or that afternoon uh, with uh, DSBK, and so I got to talk about it while showing my meteorite to the kids, and, and, and uh, it was very instructive, I think. I had my Friday morning public radio program. I do a science program called First Light. Just happened to be a couple of hours after that impact. So, yeah, it was definitely dominating our conversation. Fun day for headlines. Yep. Pamela, if you can excuse me and, and all, I need to get back to the green room and get ready for the next program set, but thanks for letting me visit. And uh, I'll just one more time before I go, plea for people to give their donation, cosmoquest.org slash donate. If you're listening on astronomy.fm where we're simulcasting, go to the cosmoquest.org website and help support this cause. It's a very worthy cause. Uh, we need to help fill the gaps being left by our oh-so-wise congressional <coughs> Congress leadership. So adieu, y'all. I'll see you later. Thank you so much, Michael. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks, Michael. Could we legally have a hangout where me and Courtney watch Firefly? <laughs> um, not sure. if you're streaming Firefly, but you can watch it and yes. uh, tell other people that you're watching it and record your director's commentary or your Mystery <laughs> Science Theater 3000 commentary. I think that one's kosher. Okay. You know what? Right we could possibly do is sit just like you two are sitting on that couch and watch it on a computer like this. That way we're not showing any, you know, bad things, but you can see our reactions just like you want us to. Well, I'd rather <laughs> do that on a real TV, but yeah, yeah. Oh, we can bring a but, real TV up yeah, here. You, it's the same concept. I've grown beyond watching that. TV on my laptop. <laughs> that got old real quick. So I, we we have a comment over in the feed from uh, Jeff Seltzer who's like, "What is this have to regarding watching Firefly?" Joe, you need to explain this. Well, why is it we can't get you to watch Firefly? Because people won't shut up, and they keep telling me to watch Firefly. <laughs> it's kind of like when everyone yeah, wanted true. everyone wanted it's, me to read Harry Potter, and I and I just was so stubborn that I. I would never I, read Harry Potter. I stopped reading that. Harry Potter in book five. I, I don't remember why. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole just admitted I I just she never read bored. Harry Potter. Uh, uh, yeah, me neither. Well, you, you were too old for it, really? I read them. Well, I mean, usually that's sort of uh, like like uh, third grade, fourth grade. It's when you get started, and then you ended up reading the whole thing. But, a, yeah, I read I'm one book to my daughter that, when she was but... learning how to read. Oh, I feel like all of the Harry Potter watchers oh, or readers grew up with Harry I Potter. Like, right. Yeah. He was a kid when he started, and they're all his age now. Yep. They're watching him grow tall. He's really tall now. I mean, Harry I haven't Potter. even seen the movies past five. And, and five. He's done farther than I have. And what got me reading the Harry Potters is I had college students who were coming to me talking about them, and I realized, okay, I want to be able to have semi-intelligent conversations with my college <laughs> students who all are reading Harry Potter. Might as well read Harry Potter. Who was this? When I was in grad school at the University of Texas. And then uh, book five, I was working at Harvard at that point. I had a high school student who is now like a full-grown adult working at the, at the uh, NSA, of all things. Uh, but back when he was a baby high school student, he got book five, read it overnight, handed it to me, and said, I will cover as much of your job as I can so that we can discuss this book. Read. Um, so I, I read it to keep up with my students and be able to discuss it with them. These are the things instructors do, I guess. I've done similar things to people with anime. Yeah. You will watch this or read this, and we're going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. We, you and I had that one about a Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, no, you had that. I had watched it forever ago. Yeah, okay, fine. So I'm working on it now, except it's one that requires more of my attention than I can give it while programming. I, I, I He's also why Pamela 
past me is watching Doctor Who. That she put that on my list after Balticon. That I had to. We had a disagreement over adipose. It, it wasn't a disagreement. It was a <laughs> moment of cultural collision. Yes, yes, that's a much better terminology for it. <laughs> Honestly, I think I stopped watching first? Doctor Who just because I hated the uh, the one chick at the, uh, in the first first few seasons. Rose. Rose. Yeah, I, I got uh. tired of Rose. <laughs> and Nicole sitting over <laughs> in the beanbag, just shaking her head in despair. <laughs> when I first met Nicole, she was dressed as Rose. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> when we were at Balticon, we were playing this really great game that's name I've just completely forgotten. It's the graphic. B-I-X-I-T. It's like apples to apples, but with images. Right. And and we were playing with, with P.G. Holyfield and uh, Vivid Mo Muse and Chooch and basically a bunch of the people from the Beyond the Wall podcast and um, <laughs> PG put down a card um, and the clue he gave was adipose. It said connection lost. Where did it we say still here? Uh, yeah, you're still there. You're going. Okay, we had a message come up. So, yeah. so PG put down a card and he said adipose, and all of us had to look at the cards in our hand and play whatever card in our hand we thought best represented adipose. And we flip all of our cards over, and before anyone starts guessing, Courtney's looking at everything that we've played, and she's like, what? I was mortified, just, really, because I had no idea what any of it was. I was like, "What? there's nothing that looks like adipose, because to me, adipose is the fatty tissue in, in biological organisms, you know, so... I was seeing. I put down a picture of a hand with the veins and a micro and a magnifying glass, and that was my version of tissue. And everyone else had these little white things <laughs> on their card, and I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> and, and it was one of these things where all the rest of us are looking at this hand with cells, <laughs> and we're like, "What does that have to do with anything?" And it was just this brilliant moment of science and science fiction. Except this time, it was the biological science in the room that got the <laughs> got the conversation broken. Uh, Courtney's our resident biologist. <laughs> You want to tell them what happened the next day, Pamela? That was my favorite part of the story. I don't remember. We walked by the booth. The lady who had the little squishy version of an adipose, Doctor Who adipose. Yes, that and, was awesome. And so we're walking, and Pamela points it out. She's like, look, that's an adipose. And the lady, as she says it, squeezes it and says, yeah, it's filled with fatty tissue. And I was like, yes, I told you. It was a great, like, whole, I was so happy that happened. You have no idea. It was wonderful. But anyway, that was our fun. Where was it? I don't cultural. know. Just like what did you okay. call it? A cultural. I don't remember. Pamela. Oh, that was weird. There was a great comment up, and then it disappeared. It, it said, and I didn't, oh, there it is. I'm going to just display this one because it's funny, except I have to remember how to use an actual mouse with my right hand. Oh, fail. Here we go. So this, <laughs> this, this is just a great comment from Wesley Defeaty. Don't worry about Rose. They left her on the beach. Don't mind her. When does this, <laughs> this happen? Season Three? Spoiler alert! Yeah, I don't. I have Spoilers. no idea what that means. Zero idea what just happens there. But I guess I got spoiled. You <laughs> you need to adjust your mic again, Courtney. It's drifting away from your mouth. Oh, sorry. How about that? Is that it? <gasps> 
so um, we have Steve DeGroff saying he began to read Harry Potter in his late 30s. Yay, I'm not the only one, although I was early 30s. Um, <laughs> this is another one I'm going to put up. Um, Jeff, Jeff Setzer, they're concerned for your well-being, Joe. Yes, yes, we are. You are not a complete person unless you watch Firefly. I'm that's true. That's true. He's he's a grad student, so he's not a person yet. And just to remind everyone, we did set a goal at 5:30 in the morning. Uh, it is 5:30. Was it only five minutes ago? We'll call it 5:30. <laughs> it's easier to remember. 5:22. 5:22. Okay, at 5:22, it was a if within two hours we hit fifteen thousand dollars, which is the feed Joe for a year amount. Joe will finally give in to all of his, the peer pressure and watch Firefly. I wouldn't call it peer pressure. Yeah, you're not a person and we are. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey, will you show us I your just thing? Shared, uh, in the event the photo of us meeting. Okay. I can't find where the one I clicked on is. Oh, there it is. Uh, no, that's... Just click on any one of them and click it again, and that, that'll probably turn it off. Aha! Aha. I liberated the comments. Okay. Um, uh, trying to figure out how to see. In case anybody's interested, I'm just cycling through some pictures of the transit of Venus from last year, one of my uh, lucky year uh, outreach events. We actually had a half hour of, uh, of visibility. For Venus? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else in Virginia was clouded, uh, but I was up on the uh, crest of the Blue Ridge, and you can just barely make out Venus. I'm circling it with my arrow. Uh, you can just barely make it out in the, uh, the video clip that I've got showing there. Was, was that a wig? Yes, that was a wig. Okay. You never know with the two of us, though. Yeah, it's, it's a fair question. <laughs> so, so this is Nicole and I, the night of the Mad Scientist's Ball at Dragon Con. Oh, man. Four years ago? <laughs> oh, 2009. Yeah, so we are in the Marriott in front of the bar. Um... That's when we met. I like the I've never read Harry Potter, but my girlfriend keeps threatening. You're faint again. Why are you quiet? And she's also out of focus, too. Hmm. That's the laptop computer. Laptop camera, Next time rather. I see you, bring your laptop. I'm fixing your mic. Okay. It's a headset. Yeah, she's Are you sure head... you're using your headset mic? Ah, if it's a Mac, you may have to go into system settings and it's tell it to actually look no, to the Mac. No, you just the, 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 the audio feed. So up, Mac. sorry, it's on that no. corner. Go up in this window. There's a gear in the corner. Yeah. Click on the gear and make sure that it's using your headset. I like this guy. <laughs> 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 so, coming at us from um, the the uh, Google Pl land of Google Plus, I have neither read nor watched Harry Potter. My girlfriend keeps threatening me with it, though. Yeah, yeah. Don't give in, man. <laughs> Keep the faith. But I mean, th this brings us to to one of the great things that Will Wheaton shared a couple weeks ago. One of the awesome things about the the community that we're part of, the science fiction science community, is we're all geeks about different things. Courtney is a biology geek, Joe is an anime geek and a computer scientist, I am an astronomy geek who rides horses, Nicole is an astronomy geek who belly dances. We all have our own favorite things. We all have our own things that we enjoy and we celebrate and this is a community that allows all of us to have our own uh, rivaling things that we're passionate about and the angry sparrows are starting to wake up outside. I can hear them in the background. Um, 
And uh, while I can mess with Joe because he hasn't read Harry Potter or uh, watched Firefly, he can mess back about the lack of anime in my movies that I've watched. And we, huh? Which one? I don't know. Which one I'm assuming you watch? <laughs> Did it look decent? Yes. Then it was probably Helsing Ultimate, and yes, you need to watch that. Okay. <laughs> okay. And there was a very angry sparrow right outside the window. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fun to get to celebrate all of our nerddoms. And Nicole is running around the attic. Why do you have a little E.T.? It's not a little E.T. It's a Ni Nairobi figure. <laughs> She's discovered my statuary. <laughs> Oh, it would be either outside that window or outside the back windows. There is a sparrow nest inside the wall over there. What, are you going to just push it off or something? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm mean. I'm cruel, but dang. I'm from the city. I don't do Nicole is literally, like, jogging around in the attic currently. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh wow. So, <laughs> so undercover Steve continued. I'm holding out as long as I can, but she has wily ways of persuasion that will undoubtedly do me in. I figure. Yes, girlfriends have a way of eventually wa making you watch what they want you to watch. Boyfriends too. <laughs> and Nicole had it in the background. Boyfriends too. <laughs> <laughs> and we are entering oh man we're hour 20 something now aren't we wait no we started at 11 right so 11 to 11 is 12 then 13 yeah no we're not at 20 something yet are we nope Okay, fail. Sorry to disappoint you. I, I got excited for a moment. I'm I saw sorry. I out that we're not even halfway done. 11 and 16 hours. 11 and 16. I've reached the stage in the evening where I can't do what? math. What God's name is this. <laughs> That's Nicole. <laughs> <the goal. laughs> I thought that might get a laugh. <laughs> my nerdy belly dance picture uh, we had a, 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 a photography night in the studio <laughs> um, that's when I was dancing back in Charlottesville um, and yeah I decided there had to be a nerdy picture in there <laughs> so that's what came out uh, what happened after that So what did you do Richard that's mean thank you <laughs> so, uh, well, so that has actually uh, been cut out and, and carefully photoshopped and uh, my, my significant other started photoshopping me into various scenes from our favorite sci-fi show. <laughs> so there's one of me on the bridge of the Enterprise, uh, and it says, engage your glutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Richard, well, okay. There's one of them. Oh, that, is that the one you did, Richard? Yep, yep. <laughs> upper left hand corner this is the famous image that has like half the Nobel laureates of, of the last centuries yeah, 1927 uh, Solvay conference yeah and and so many decades before you were born she was laughing so hard she was crying and wrecked her makeup <laughs> 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 no you fixed it with your shirt you got it <laughs> I'm going to have to put her over here. I really ought to have put her right there so that uh, uh, I can So this guy would be looking down at her thinking, what, what's this girl <laughs> doing here? I don't know. I got the wrong, but but anyway, she's over here instead. And her name's even down there at the, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, guys, you guys went a little crazy with that photo. <laughs> oh, wow. You even got the right font and everything. I, st I stole the letters from the rest of the characters of the, yeah. Oh, that's dedication. <laughs> that's awesome. 
Photoshop. Fun with Photoshop. What can I say? I was asking for it. <laughs> okay, I have to I have to share <laughs> the life of Genesis. Uh, just tweeted out. Uh, I was on Joe's team until the anime spilled out. <laughs> Whatever, man. I just want to have fun. Do what I want. Which is luckily programming Cosmo Quest most of the time. <laughs> so <laughs> it works for all of us. So, so this is time for our station identification. You are watching the uh, CosmoQuest 24-hour hangout that is scheduled to last 32 hours. Oh, God! Because like every four-book <laughs> trilogy, <laughs> we couldn't be confined by our name. And as Nicole just proved, we're running so fast that we are dilating time. <laughs> so uh, we, we are doing this to try and raise money for the CosmoQuest program uh, due to congressional... Uh, nonsense. Yes. And, and presidential nonsense. Yes. Uh, the, pres the president's current budget if passed as written, uh, zeroes all of our funding. <laughs> and it's not just us. Thanks it's a bomb. <laughs> um, it's, it's not just us. It's, it's everyone who does science education and isn't in the Department of Ed, the National Science Foundation, and the Smithsonian. Um, so this is all the NASA programs that we're looking at. We've linked to a complete list of programs slated to be canceled. Um, this came out of nowhere. We weren't expecting this. And unfortunately, we're already starting to see some of the repercussions of these cuts as some of our partner institutions are starting to have to fire staff. Um, we're seeing spend outs. There's, there's a lot of stuff going down. And we're trying to raise the money that we think is necessary to give us the time <laughs> to uh, uh, go after new funding to seek foundation funding to seek commercial sponsorships we're looking to fund ourselves for six months that takes two hundred thousand dollars and right now we have a goal of if by 722 a.m. Uh, central time we hit the fifteen thousand dollar mark which is the one graduate student for a year mark um, Joe is going to give in and watch Firefly and if we hit the 16,000 mark by 8.22 a.m., Courtney's going to watch him, watch it with him. And they might just do it on what? I thought you were going to say watch him watch it. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> watch it with him. And they just might do it on a Google Hangout so that you can get their Mystery Science Theater 3000 style commentary. And that could be fun. Um, I would pay the money just to see that if I had the money, but if I had the money, we probably wouldn't be sitting here being this concerned right now. Um, so please help, and if you don't have money to give, that's okay. Share out the link. Uh, help us find the next person who's going to do great science on CosmoQuest, the next person who might have the ability to donate the money to really help us out. Um, and there are seriously angry sparrows waking up outside the window right now. Um, we are coming up on 5.50 a.m. Um, this was supposed to be the astrophotography how to photograph sunrise, except it's been raining here in Illinois. So instead it became the uh, talk very strangely about Doctor Who, Firefly, Harry Potter, and all of our fandoms and to tease each other with love about how we don't all have the same fandoms. Um, and, and I actually have a question for Undercover Steve here who wrote, click this, right? Yeah. Uh, when you say Blade the series, do you mean like the three movies or is there a series I don't know about? Blade? Blade. We're waiting for you to tweet back. So, yeah, this is an honest question. Ooh, what's, nice. what's Blade? I don't know Blade Runner. I, I, I thought you were talking about like the... Um, the vampire movies back when vampires were not, wow. you know, stupid. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> vampires aren't supposed to sparkle. No. So, Spike or Angel? That's the other question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, we can't hear you, Courtney. How can I click this without breaking everything?
I still can't hear you, Courtney. Did someone mute her accidentally? There. Now, Courtney, on your on your Mac, you have to go over here to the right I do not own and do a sound. Mac. Oh, I don't have PC. I okay, so I switched it back to the laptop one, and now you can hear me. The microphone one's not working, I guess, but it says it's working. Oh, and we lost you again. Switched it back. My mic's not working, Tim. Well, but it, it's not right. Hold on, I'm fixing it. If we were to, if it was actually 24 hours, yeah. But it's not. No, it should have Wait, that's not even right. You're right. Hours. So that is correct. We have seven hours, nine minutes. So we just got an awesome gift <coughs> that I'm going to that, share. That doesn't seem out. right. No, that's not right. That's not right. Oh, that's London time. Oh, God, that's why. Okay. I was confused. So it was right initially, so that is correct, but that's London time. No, that still no, that's seems still wrong. not right. Oh, man. Okay. You're, you're fine. Manganese. <laughs> no, I just need a computer that I'm not leaning over Joe. I, I don't know how to change it from London time to something else. I do. Um, okay, so what we're trying to what we're trying to debug, apologies for poor mic usage, everyone, is um, Will Shellwood sent us a great calculator that's on London time, which completely broke our brains um, for. Um, what time our hangout ends so that it's a countdown clock. I'm in the process of trying to translate it over to where we are, um, which oh, is cool. not in London, which is causing all of our brains to break. That'd be great if you could park that in the corner. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have many, many cams set up. Um, I don't know. I'm out. <laughs> I I'm working on it. I'm there. Yes, I'm working on it. Good. Hey, can you hear me now? Yes. Good. Hi. How are you? I finally got my microphone working. Right. Chicago. Anyway. Oh, you've got the built-in microphone. No, the one in my headset actually now. Oh, but oh you yay! You took the headset off. No, I just the microphone from it wasn't going through and I fixed it. So. Oh yeah, your audio is better. Hey, hello. We end at 7 p.m. Oh, so Pamela, serious yep. question. Okay. Do you want me to go and capture some sunrise via my mobile device? We're starting a new segment in a few minutes. Yeah, That's we're moving on to the breakfast show. Uh. Breakfast show? Are we eating breakfast? Or do uh. I get to go take a nap? Galaxy pancakes. Yeah, you, you want to hang out for this one. This one actually is right up your alley. We're getting um, the Death by Puppets, and um, I think we have Rebecca Watson from Skeptic. Um, so there should be much hilarity, and we get to watch other people make pancakes. Um, Ooh, that's fun. I'm yeah. going to want to make them, though, is the problem. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get hungry watching people <laughs> make pancakes. <laughs> I'm going to feel the need to make them myself. No, he's going to sit in the middle of us. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -mm. Okay. Logistics. So, um, I'm trying to figure out how to share a link. For now, I'm going to share the screen and show you the delightful countdown clock that has been okay. created. Um, we have 13 hours, 6 minutes left to raise a whole hell of a lot of money. Please help us get out the word. Um, we will go into better and better uh, hours, segments, um, as we continue to get later in the day, and hopefully we will ramp up the uh, donations as we do. But in the meantime, um, every dollar helps, every retweet helps. Um, I'm going to figure out how to share this with other people. I just keep it on your computer and occasionally do a screen share. Like this. So, I'm going to remind everyone that if, if you do want to help support us in another way, 
and you want to get some swag in the process, you can help support our media cost by going to astrogear.org or com and go check out our merchandise over there. And if there's any issues with the store, just send an email and we'll make sure to take note of your order and get back to you about that. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's another option. And they're all sporting our gear over there. Pamela's got her Cosmo Quest shirt on. Richard's Nicole wearing her. his. His Cosmology Astronomy Cast shirt. There you go. Very I nice. Need to push over more so Nicole has all her space. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Here, we will take we will squish yeah. all the way over so you have all the space. <laughs> all the space. Maria, do I have to watch Firefly yet? Uh, yes. No, not yet, Richard. <laughs> it's not required yet. <sighs> <laughs> that would be a rather entertaining segment, though. I'm halfway hoping it happens, but not really. I am, but I am. I'm not at the same time. Of course, I want to raise the money. It's got to happen by 8.22 in the morning, though. What are you watching over there so fancily, Pamela? She's uh, working on getting the next segment ready. Yeah. So oh, okay. Actually, I think we're going we're to transition into the next segment. So um, thank you guys for, for joining us <laughs> for the last couple hours. Um, and we are going to uh, transition into the Death by Puppet segment. Okay. Um, so we are going to get them to send over from the green room. Oh, no one's in the green room yet. <laughs> Oops. Ah. we got a few minutes still. Um, There's somebody coming. No, that's Pamela. Oh, that's me. Uh. I'm getting their videos prepped. So uh, the Death by Puppets crew, please uh, check your invites. You've gotten invites to the green room. so. We oh, Maria. I once knew a girl named Maria. I think yeah. Maria is coming. Uh, Steve DeGroof is coming, and uh, Charles Pillsbury, and then they'll also be joined by Rebecca Watson from Skeptic. Uh, so you guys all have the link in your email right now. Um, and, so, uh, Pamela yeah. and Nicole, while we're waiting for them to join, how about you tell us how you feel about Google Glass so far? Ah. Uh. Good call. Yeah. I'm accidentally sharing photos I don't mean to with random groups of humans. Oh. So what I is it? A built-in control buttons or something on the side that I, share I keep, things. I keep hitting share instead of uh, swiping to the next thing. So I've randomly shared some very odd photos. <laughs> it's one of these things where I will definitely not be wearing my glass if there's anything I don't want to accidentally put on the internet around That's me. Probably smart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've been getting random pictures of the setup that were shared privately, and I'm like, is she trying to share it publicly, or did she share by accident? Mm -hmm. Like the webcam setup. Yeah, I I have been purposely sharing a few things to Nicole because I haven't figured out a better way to get them onto Google Plus. <laughs> um, I'm so your gateway. You're my gateway. Well, it to should Google show Plus. up. In, it'll show up in auto upload. Okay, I haven't figured that when out. When it's charging yet. and on Wi-Fi. Oh, that's, that's the key. It'll upload. Okay. Yes, that's it too. Uh -huh. So it'll go into that private folder, and that's how it gets to Google Plus. So are there are there buttons on the side or something that say? Do swipe. certain things, or yeah, so, there's swipe. It's this, like, okay, go ahead. This surface right here yeah. um, is is entirely a touchpad. So when you click <sighs> it, it selects things. You can swipe up and down to switch where you are in the menu system, and uh, swipe left to right to move between different menus. Does it show you the screen on both lenses if you want to see it that way? There, and, there's only one. You have no choice. Okay. Okay. So it's it's one of the one of the things that I've been struggling with is it only works on your right eye. Oh. And my right eye <laughs> has astigmatism, so I can't get the entire lens in focus at once. So I I've been dealing with that. I can get it mostly in focus for the whole eye. Um, but yeah, Joe is now laughing. Also have. 
Oh, poor <laughs> Joe. Who hasn't been to the doctor, mind you, in several years? Yes? Yes, several years. <laughs> He's young and healthy. He'll get over it. <laughs> See, what you just said, Richard, is he's young and healthy. He'll get over being young and healthy. Right. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for our videos from the Death by Puppets team. Um, so they're going to be joining us, but they sent us some videos to play ahead of time. I'm going to cue those up. And share them out. Cool. Oh, here we go. Is this a slideshow or what's it? What are we watching? Sounded like it was going to be video. Okay. We're still on. Oh, you did get the ones off of YouTube, though. Didn't I you? put them all on that drive. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure out where the <laughs> audio went. Well, we didn't see the video either. Mm. Oh, I saw video. Did I not? Share not that? on the Hangout. Yeah. Oh, I must have shared the wrong window. Hold on. <laughs> and the angry sparrows are just getting angrier. Yes, they are. Yeah, they want to see the video. They do. They, they really do. So that looks like a video now. There we go. We need sound. Ooh. I I thought I was sending it. And you're muted because there are a lot oh, of people in this hangout. That's what it is. Is what it said. Okay, let's watch. I'm Apollo, and I approve this science. <laughs> okay, so that was the one thing of Death by Puppets. Let me look on the drive and find the rest of the Death by Puppets. Uh, where did they all go? Did someone delete them? Because they were there <laughs> earlier today. Rawr. No, I just have the Death by Puppets. Do you have the big drive or the thumb drive? This is the big drive right yeah, here. Yeah, that's where I put them all. Okay, let me see if I can find. Maybe they're in a different directory. Maybe, maybe search. How many well, how astronomers many does it take <laughs> so we're under to find? <laughs> so, what's, yeah. what's your answer? I, I put two? all these videos on this drive. <laughs> I'm screwing a light bulb. And apparently, some yeah, deleted them many? after the fact. <laughs> Thanks, <Okay>. guys. <laughs> Good thing you don't need to, any new light bulbs currently. I don't know how many that would take. Oh, joy. <laughs> okay. So Go to I'm... the YouTube channel for Death by Puppets. Yeah. Go. Uh... So while we're pulling that up, I'm going to pull up uh, a different video. We have uh, from Nancy Atkinson. We have a video on Mars, except that directory is empty, so maybe we don't. Um, we have... A losing the dark. That's for when Connie's on. Ah, losing the dark. That's CC uh, uh, CC Peterson. Yes. No. No. Connie. Sorry, different Connie. That's Carolyn. Um, hmm. We could play Bill Nye again. Do we want to play Bill Nye again? <laughs> Go to the Death by Why not? channel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, that's it. <laughs> that is not. Stop. I where, also thoroughly enjoy Dead Space. As a, N as a... Nicole and Pamela, yes. where are we on the shirt-making process? Is that postponed because of the storm as well? Um, so we showed the how to uh, get started. Um, not sure what's going to happen with actually painting at this point. Point. I, I will go start setting that up um, in in a break once I... Okay, so we've got guests showing up in the green room, so we're going to transition into the Death by Puppet segment now. So uh, if you can go ahead and send in who we have. Um... Send in the clowns or get rid of this clown. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll go and hang up so that there's room. 
Video ads. Why would YouTube have video that's ads? That's not a video. No, no that's, this that's, right here was oh, what that. was generating the noise. Oh, no. Lord. I... Okay, so we're bringing in the next segment. <laughs> Wait, since when can you Bye, guys. Um, uh, thanks. When, when do you want me back? Uh, I don't know. Can we have you back during the shirt segment? When's that? Yeah, just ping me the times. I guess you want me it, back it's here. It's on the schedule on the website. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you guys later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, so Steve's coming on in. Um, we're waiting on the rest of the crew at the moment um, so we can continue working on getting the video. Yes, you said.